What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at it in American Truck Simulator and we're picking up with our coast to coast trip uh, for Pride Transport. You remember we started off in Santa Cruz and we got to take this load of empty pallets to Washington DC. So almost uh, completely coast to coast. It's going to cost them 170 something thousand dollars to ship these empty pallets to Washington DC. I don't know why. That's like a huge commodity in American Truck Simulator. It doesn't make sense, but you know what? We're being paid either way, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's go ahead and see about hopping in the truck, and uh, we'll get going. All right, we're loaded up, uh, ready to go. Once again, we are in our Freightliner Cascadia. Got a 450 horsepower X15, and we are a 13-speed manual transmission uh, for Pride Transport. Very nice truck. I really like this one a lot. Um, we're halfway between Barstow and the California state line, the California Arizona state line. So we're going to try to uh, drive for about 11 hours. We had 10 hours off, so we should be able to drive for 11 now, if that if that's right. I'm kind of trying to go by the uh, hours of service, but I, I'll be honest, I don't know much about it. So oh, let's get the parking brake. All right, well at least uh, we'll get that taken care of. Oh wait, never mind. I'm hitting the wrong. You would think P would be parking brake, but it's actually not. <laughs> it's not. All right. Now parking brake is released. I think we're good to go. Go ahead and get rolling. I hope you guys are having a, uh, a great week. We did get snow here in Texas. We've got probably maybe two, two inches. It's hard to tell because it's so windblown. Like it's really, really super dry and dusty. And so uh, it's blowing and drifting a lot. So it's hard to say, but I would probably say no more than two inches. We didn't get as much as what they had. You know what, dude, I gotta go. Didn't get as much as what they had originally predicted. So that's good at least. This will be going back through the way station, but that's all right. Here we clear that back there and don't hang up on anything. Okay, all right, yeah, since they didn't call us in, we can just roll right on through, so nice. All right, we'll do that then. Go ahead and get these windows down so we can uh, listen to the engine. Never mind, they're already down. Oh, come on. These guys are clueless. When it comes to merging, <laughs> when it comes to merging on the interstate, they really are just clueless. There we go. Alright, now we are set finally on the interstate. This I this AI is like so uh, so incredibly clueless when it comes to merging. Of course, we do have the 55 mile an hour speed limit here in uh, California. Hopefully, we'll be getting out of state pretty soon. We've still got uh, 2,226 miles to go, so we've got a, uh, a good ways to go. And we're hauling, uh, I think it's like 81,000 pounds, so we're pretty full of pallets. A lot of pallets. Like I said in the last video, uh, evidently, they can't uh, provide themselves pallets on the East Coast. So they have to have them shipped from uh, California to uh, DC. You know what, we're going to run a little bit fast today because I really want to try to make up some uh, mileage. So we went on duty, we started driving at seven. So uh, we'll have, uh, what, 11 hours? So uh, six, uh, six at night. Why is my, uh, why is my track IR so twitchy? Yeah, we're definitely heavy. Hop back over in that other lane. All right, yeah, we're gonna run a little fast. Like I said, I, I really wanna try to make some miles up because uh, we've got like 40 hours to get there. And I really, I don't know if we're gonna make that or not, guys. 
I don't know if we try to follow the hours of service and that's what I'm kind of like roughly trying to do. So basically we're going to drive 11 and be off 10 and drive 11 and be off 10 if that's how it works. If, if I'm understanding it correctly, once again, I am not a real life truck driver. Uh, you know, this is, I just kind of Googled it really, really fast just to see, cause I thought it'd be something kind of fun and different to do in game. So of course we're not running the fatigue in, uh, simulation because that's just kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, we're running, we're running a little too fast there. I don't think, uh, I think the highway patrol would uh, smile kindly upon us if we we're doing uh, 20 over the speed limit. Good to be back in ATS. I've really been looking forward to this trip for the uh, past few days since the last time I did the other video. We haven't uh, we haven't done any uh, long haul runs in game. Like most of them are pretty short, so this is uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Definitely different. I'm just ready to get out of the state of California so we can really drop the hammer and go. Kingman, 38 miles, so we should be getting pretty close. Pretty close to the Alabama, uh, the, uh, not Alabama, Arizona state line. There's the uh, big uh, BNSF Topak Bridge, or Topak, or however you pronounce it. I guess Topak. Hop over. Joe's kind of uh, dragging a little bit there. Man, you see a lot of Navajo trucks in uh, in game. That's like the one company that you see tons and tons of in American Truck Simulator. They're everywhere. All right, sweet. Now we're good for 75. We're gonna try to go for like 70. I think we'll be fine there. With uh, 81,000 pounds and 450 horsepower, it's not like we're gonna be able to burn up the highway or anything like that, so. Hop on over. All right, so we're two hours into our trip. We're just now coming up to uh, Kingman. Yeah, we, uh, we're gonna be cutting it close. I don't think we're gonna make it on time. I don't think we're gonna make it in 40 hours. We might, I could be totally wrong. I haven't done a trip this long uh, in forever. It'd be hard to say. All right, this should be Kingman here. Avenue. I don't know who Andy Devine is. Interesting, uh, interesting road name though, Andy Devine. It is better than Cockroach Lane. I have seen a Cockroach Lane, believe it or not. I saw it. It was up around uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'm being for real, like for real, there was Cockroach Lane. I don't know if it was officially called that or if like just the people lived on that road, put the sign up, but uh, yeah, it was Cockroach Lane. I, I want to say it was probably unofficial. I don't know why. Who would name their road Cockroach Lane though? Like. Wickenburg, Phoenix, two miles. We'll hop 
hop out of the truck in a bit get some uh, exterior views of it. It's a really nice truck. I dig this one a lot. And I want to thank everyone for joining in and watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Man, the views have just really kind of gone up the last... Uh, uh, three or four days. It, it's it's weird. That's one thing I've kind of learned about YouTube doing a YouTube channel. At least for me, is like uh, growth kind of comes in spurts. Like it it will it will go through a kick where it grows, and then um, it may kind of flatten out for a little bit or decline just a hair. So it doesn't decline enough to like lose everything that you gain, but it may go down just a hair, or it may flatten out for a bit, and then it'll go into another growth spurt. So. It's, uh, it's interesting to watch, and I really do appreciate everyone for uh, joining in and watching and uh, subscribing and liking and all that stuff. And if you are new, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Comments really, uh, really help put the videos out there. That's the one thing that I've learned uh, as far as like uh, getting your videos uh, out there and, and you know seen by people is the fact that uh, you know the more comments they have. Uh, the more that they are shown to uh, uh, other people, to a bigger audience. At least it seems that way. It seems that way to me. I am by no means a, uh, a YouTube expert, though I have learned a lot since doing this. And it's been a lot of fun. I, I Like I said, you know, I started doing this... Uh, when coronavirus came about, just something to kind of occupy my time. I didn't even really expect it to gain any traction or really do anything. And you know, Meredith and I had talked about doing this for a long time because we've had so many awesome experiences in like WoW and, and different uh, different games that we played together. We're like, damn, we should have been recording that because that was hilarious or that was wild, whatever it was that happened, you know. So for like years, we've talked about all these experiences and moments that we've had uh, gaming together. Like, man, I wish we were recorded that, you know, with friends that like we don't play with anymore and stuff like that. And uh, we just thought it'd be nice to be able to like have a record of it and kind of go back and, and watch and see and that kind of stuff. And so we started doing videos and uh, things just went from there. But I will say, I, I do feel like uh, this particular time period uh, is like a really, really tough time to uh, do a gaming channel because there's so many people that had the exact same idea when coronavirus came about. There were so many people that were, uh, you know, stuck at home or not able to work or whatever. And so everyone was like, yeah, we'll just do a YouTube channel because that's easy and it's really not and it made it even harder with uh, the current uh, you know social climate we have right now as far as people being at home and, and stuff like that so I definitely think uh, I think Rota you know most definitely changed uh, how things are on YouTube as far as like doing channels and, and kind of breaking out and uh being seen, you know, there's a lot more competition. In other words, there's a lot more competition right now. There's a lot more competition. And there's a lot of traffic out today. The interstate's busy. 40 is busy today. We're going to be over 40 for a really long time. Arizona Divide. Nice. Can't run from us forever. That hamburger looked good. I, if y'all don't know, if y'all haven't realized, I am a huge hamburger fan. I love hamburgers. Pounders from McDonald's, Big Macs, Whoppers, you name it. 
It's a burger. I love it. I don't think I've had a burger yet that I didn't like. Also wanted to announce that uh, I do have a TikTok now, and um, I have been putting clips on there. It, I like TikTok a lot because it's like little highlight clips. It's like just little fun clips. You know, they're really easy to do. It's really easy for me to clip. You know, take a clip out of a video or something like that, or a stream. I've been putting some clips for some uh, old streams that I've had on their, uh, you know, different gameplay and stuff like that. So I'll put the link down in the description if you want to go check it out and follow me over there. But uh, it's going to be uh, Texas underscore Spur at uh, TikTok. It's been a lot of fun. It's, it's been, I've actually been quite pleasantly surprised how it's going. I wasn't really sure what to, uh, what to expect. I've been, I've been trying to expand into uh, other social media platforms and stuff like that because I, I look at them all as a way to help grow the YouTube channel, which is like my main focus right now. I've, I've streamed on Twitch, uh, did all the things on Twitch, and um, I don't know. I may go back to it. I just really just don't have time to stream right now. Like It's just really incredibly hard for me to stream right now, but uh, I may go back to Twitch. I've kind of looked at doing some videos on uh, maybe Facebook gaming. Like I said, YouTube will still be my, uh, my number one focus, but uh, just kind of spread things around a little bit. Let's see, it's just now noon. We got, uh, let's see, we started at uh, 7 in the morning, so we, we can drive till 6. Drive till 6, and then we have to have 10 hours off. If, if, like I said, if I'm understanding that correctly, oh, damn, we're going to see about gas at some point, too. We're going to see about some fuel. This other lane here, start getting around some of these people. Like I said, we got to make up some time. I hadn't planned on doing the whole hours of service thing or trying to like go through that on the first video, and so uh, we shorted ourselves a little bit. And now we're having to make up time. We're just now getting ready to come up on Holbrook, Arizona. Um, and then we got Gallup after that, Gallup, New Mexico. I don't know if we need to stop in Holbrook or if we can make it to Gallup. Surely we can make it to Gallup. i like to stop there if we can. View of our beautiful truck for pride. Old Brook and Sholo. Yeah, I think we're gonna go to Gallup. I think we'll make it to there.
be a big truck stop over there. I love how they've gone back into the game and uh, added, you know, on some of the DLC, added these huge truck stops on the interstate. Because originally, you know, an original incarnation of the game, you didn't have that. In fact, they had these really weird things. You still kind of see them in California now, where uh, you just kind of exit off into a gas station and get right back on. So it's almost like a way station, except it's a gas station. And it's really, uh, it is really just kind of incredibly janky and unrealistic, because you don't see that in the United States. I mean, I don't know what they have in Europe, but you definitely don't have anything like that here. Like, an exit specifically for a gas station and just get right back on. wondering if we can make it to um, Albuquerque. Maybe. We might can make it to Albuquerque. Oh, we got to get over there. Like someone done got got. Yep. Someone got got. Not us. That's all that matters. this morning went outside shovel all the snow off the front porch or front porch covered in snow got it all cleaned up so I get the kids off to school and uh, a merit to work and all that stuff like uh, I think it was actually four degrees outside this morning it was a little warmer than what they said it was going to be originally they said negative four but uh, I think it went to uh, four it was definitely cold. Kids had a late start today. They had to go to school at 10 instead of their uh, usual time this morning. But either way, it is cold as hell. <laughs> it is definitely cold. A little windy out there, too. Like, it calmed down some today. Yesterday, it was quite windy. It was actually a good breeze. It was almost like a blizzard because the snow was blowing so much. But uh, today, it's calmed down a little bit. At least it seemed like it had. Everyone was asking on Facebook, kids going to school today? I'm like, of course. <laughs> they don't let them out for nothing. For nothing, especially for weather-related stuff. They do not let them out for anything. All right, let's get in here and get weighed. Okay, which way we go? Straight ahead. Nice, nice. I like this way station. It's cool. That's really cool. What's up, buddy? How you doing? We weighed today, 80,654, nice. So uh, we bled a little bit off with the uh, fuel burn. All right, bro, take it easy, man. Talk to you later. See you on the next trip. Uh, Gallup Port of Entry. All right, so we did make it to Gallup. We're about to see about gas. I figure out where we need to get some fuel. All right, found us a spot. Just a little bit on the other side of Gallup. We'll stop there and get some fuel. Then probably stop in Albuquerque for the night. There you go. Hop on over here. Good to go. Go seven high since they're on that hill a little bit there. Yeah, this is a new profile for me, so I'm rediscovering a lot of places I haven't uh, I haven't been to on this one. I need to go back and see if I can clean that other one up. I'm kind of thinking it may be a uh, an old mod or something that's causing all those issues. So 
What I may do is go back and uh, start deleting mods and cleaning up. I think basically what happened is I wound up uh, deleting some mods before I deleted the truck out of my fleet, and I think that could have very well goofed some things up. So, but either way, we got this profile. I mean, I can do everything on here. Not that big of a deal. At least I have two now. I can kind of go back and forth between. And it is beautiful in New Mexico today, right? Here, go grab us a couple screenshots so we're set with that. Our exit should be coming up fairly soon. It should be too far away. And we're back to 75, so we can drop the hammer a little bit now, too. This is so nice. Love me some American Truck Simulator. It's just it's such a chill game. It really just is. Like, there's just... You just get in and drive. There's nothing to it. And I love that. I love that. And I love it's one of those games that you can just get in and play and there's no setup. There's nothing that you have to do. Other than just start it up and hop in a truck and go. I was gonna hop over, I don't know. Maybe. No, I think I'm just gonna stay right here. I'll just hang out here for a bit. I really feel like we're fixing to jump off the interstate here in a second. I was going to start doing some more Microsoft Flight Simulator the other day, and then they released whatever world update it is now for uh, Australia, and I was like, you know, that could have very well just broke all the aircraft that I was going to have to patch. Anyway, so I may as well just, uh, just wait and see if there's any more patches that are going to come out. I saw my uh, T-45 had a new patch come out for it the other day, so I need to grab it. I'm sure there's probably one for the F-15. Uh, the... the a320 like gosh there's uh, i'm so far behind on that one there's no telling uh, what all they've done to it that's the thing about uh microsoft flight simulator right now is you just feel like you're constantly under the gun having to update stuff all the time and i don't even have that many third-party aircraft you know i've got like two air two payware aircraft and a handful of third-party and uh, that's it. And that's already kind of a headache to uh, to keep straight. So, all right, this is us right here. This is weird how the uh, GPS has it going. Like that's not right. Didn't ride at all. At least I don't think. I should be able to just go up here and take a right. There we go. There's our beautiful truck. She looks so slick with that arrow kit. Pretty nice too.
Yeah, I like it. All right, let's see. Where can we go in at? Uh, semi trucks turn right. Okay. All right, I guess that's what we'll do. This is a big truck stop. All right, so which way is the correct way to go through the pumps? I never know. They're always empty. <laughs> they're all, they're always empty. You don't ever see trucks. Um, I'm guessing back around this way. I don't know. Where are we at? We're uh, it's 3:43 p.m. So we can drive a couple more hours after this, and then we're gonna have to call it. Yeah, we'll just go in this way. All right, this is good. Let's head to park and brake. Kill the engine. We'll hop out and get some fuel. Need some pump music, or they need the little TVs where you can watch the uh, AccuWeather and all that stuff. That'd be cool. At least some audio. They need some audio here. There we go. All right, 154 gallons. Nice. Let's hop back in the truck. Here, start it back up. We, all right, let's get back to rolling. I right, cover as much uh, ground as we can with these two hours we got left. Two hours and change. It'll probably be about two hours once we get back on the interstate. Yeah, it's kind of going really weird on this. Like, this makes zero sense. Why they have us going back around that way? I need to look at the map for a second. Yeah, that makes no sense. We're not doing that. You know, and I'm going too. I'm not waiting on y'all. We don't have all day to wait on this. Like, we gotta go. We got to go, people. Got places to be. She don't like that at all. All right, come on, let's go. Anytime now. I'd like a light. There we go. Why in the world they have us circling around that other way like that? Like sometimes the GPS in here gets a little wonky. Shoot, we're not even gonna be on Interstate by four. It's gonna be like 20 after by the time we get rolling. There we go, that's us. We can roll. We better make these miles count. Because we haven't covered a lot. We started at 2,200 miles and changed, and we're down to 1,711, so we got to make this count. 
Like we really need to drop the hammer. But being a little heavy doesn't help us out at all. I really, I really think our uh, our stop's gonna be uh, Albuquerque. I'm gonna have to look at that. Because probably what we're gonna do is just stop on an exit. We'll uh, we'll get off and then uh, stop on an on ramp. We do have a, uh, a rest area a little bit on the other side of Albuquerque. If we can make that, that would be ideal, but I don't know if we are because the time is just literally flying by like crazy now. The song says we have a long ways to go, short time to get there. All right, rolling through downtown Albuquerque. And they've done so good at, at making it feel like uh, you're driving on the interstate, like that, the whole interstate experience. They've done an amazing job. It just keeps getting better. With all the signs and the mixed bastards and like how they do the exits. Some of these exits are amazing where they got like uh, the truck stops and different things around them, the hotels. It just makes it really feel like you're doing interstate driving. Louisiana Boulevard. Santa Rosa. Our time looked like we got 30 minutes. Hmm. And it goes by too quick. Okay, where can we stop? We gotta find a place. too far from the rest area surely we can make that and we either got this spot here if we don't take this one here we're committed yeah we're committed now we got to go to the rest area surely we'll make it there in time Or what happens to a trucker in real life if you're running out of hours and uh, you don't have a place to stop? Will they let you go? I don't know. Good question. Good question. If anyone knows, throw uh, throw an answer in the comment in the comments for me. I'd love to hear. Merrill the railroad. We could move. I remember one situation where uh, I was on a train where we had to move after our 12 hours of service, and it was only be it was only for us to get to a location where we could be picked up. Yeah, we're gonna bust it. We're gonna bust it by a few minutes. Here are supposed to be done at six. I'm taking that other exit. I thought we would have made it in time, but anyway, yeah, I was on a train. Um, 
we went on the law. We actually, we, went, we call it going on the law. And uh, we went on the law in a siding, a siding in the middle of nowhere, which is typical. That's usually how it goes down. And uh, when our actual 12 hours of service was up, we were like in the middle of the woods on this siding. So, uh, we actually wound up like uncoupling the engines from the train, from the train and pulling them down to a crossing where they could, uh, where they could get to us. So, so we exceeded, uh, I, I can't remember. It is just by a few minutes, uh, exceeded, uh, the hours, you know, in the siding a few minutes, something like that. It wasn't very long at all. That's been years ago too. It could very well be different now. I don't know. We're talking like 20 years. Whoa, I'm watching, uh, I'm looking at the clock and not paying attention here. Oh shit, yeah, this is like really sharp. <laughs> this is really, really sharp. Damn, we took that like a NASCAR pit stop. <laughs> He really just did. Man. I was trying to why I was trying to look at the clock and like look at the map and next thing I know we're up on it doing 70. You know what we made it though. We made it 30 minutes past our time, so question is Where can we park? I guess over here, all right, I see by McDonald's here, by the McDonald's truck. Park by him, call it good. Kind of a janky rest stop. Go right here in the middle. We're out of, out of whack just a little bit there. Ah, not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Not too bad. Back her up into her hair. Yeah, that kind of worked out. We just had to pull through it a bit. All right, there we go. Put her neutral, set parking brake. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this one. This is part two of our 2,600 mile long haul run of empty pallets for $172,000 from Santa Cruz, California to Washington, DC. So right now we are currently uh, not quite halfway between Albuquerque and uh, Tucumcari. Uh, and you can see here is the rest of our route through uh, Amarillo, Oklahoma City, uh, Little Rock, Memphis, Nashville, Knoxville. And uh, it looks like down around Knoxville, we'll get on 81, go up into Virginia through Roanoke, uh, Harrisburg, and then we'll jump over to uh, Washington, D.C. on uh, 6 to 6. Should be a lot of fun. It's going to be interesting to see like how the time works out as far as what ATS says and how we get there if if I'm following the uh, hours of service correctly. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. And with all that said, we'll catch you on the road next time. Peace.